Kenny, what uh, you think continues to be the issues defensively that uh, guys are not able to get off the field in a timely manner on a lot of these drives? Yeah, man, I think, you know, some of the, the same things that kind of crept up in our game all year kind of came back to haunt us, whether it's, you know, really just the details, fundamentals, cutting guys loose. Um, a lot of times, man, we're shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, instead of letting actually making offenses beat us, we're beating ourselves. So, I mean, obviously we, we get these three days off to kind of reflect, look at everybody, look themselves in the mirror and try to figure out exactly what's going on. Because if you, if you play like that in this league, you're not going to win very many games. And, and, and we understand that. Um, I'm eager to look at the film just to see exactly what happened in this particular game. But at the same time, I don't want to sound like a broken record. You know, the communication, the details of each play are things we got to get fixed because um, we're on the field way too long. Like you said, um, we had some great fourth down stops this game, but at the same time, those inconsistencies keep you on the field and you give up points. So we got to get it figured out quick. We got two great teams these next two weeks. <clears throat> John Glennon. Kenny, how much of a uh, – you mentioned that, that fourth down stop there. You guys still had a lead, 17-13. How much of a momentum swing is it when uh, unfortunate to have the 17-yard punt and you're back, right back on the field, um, you know, defending at the 27-yard line? Yeah, it's huge. But at the same time, um, we got to play complimentary ball. And once we get the fourth down stop, you know, score points. And then, okay, we don't score points and we get back on the field. Well, we got to get a stop and, and, and put the offense – in plus field position, um, so they can score points. We got to do. We got to. We got to create turnovers so the offense have more. You know, at, attempts at scoring. We got to get more three and outs so the offense can get in a rhythm. Um, so we take that. You know, we got to do more on defense, and that's just that's just the way I want to put it. David, Kenny, a, a lot of snaps Sunday against the Bears. A lot of snaps through the first two and a half quarters today. Did fatigue become any kind of factor for the defense today? No, no, it wasn't a fatigue thing. I think guys play hard every play. Um, it's more of a deep, like I said, details and not executing the way we're coached. Um, that that's the problem. It's not it's not fatigue. Corey, hey Kenny, um, you t you talked about the the repeating the issues of communications. Is there still confidence with, with Dean not here anymore that after eight weeks, nine weeks, you can get those things fixed? Yeah. I mean, I think with the men, you know, in our locker room, the guys on our defense, we, we, can, we can get it fixed. Um, and we will. We'll, we'll figure out, you know, we're at the halfway point now. Um, you know, we got like a little mini bye week coming up. And we will get it. We will because I, I know we will. Just with the guys in our locker, the guys on the team, on the defense, we'll – We'll get it figured out. We got to hold each other accountable and we got to do it so we can win. I mean, there's just no choice. Paul? Uh, with the with the stops that you did have, Kenny, how, uh, how angry maybe did it leave you that, that you couldn't kind of seize momentum with those things and that they kind of were able to kind of keep coming back from the times that it looked like you were taking control? Uh, I mean, it is, I mean, it's frustrating, but at the same time though, it is what it is, whatever situation, whatever cards we get dealt on defense, we need to, we need to come out on top, whether we get fourth down stops, whether we, you know, get turn, we, we didn't do enough. That's just what it comes down to. We didn't, we were on the field too long. Our offenses don't have as many opportunities to score. We got to, we got to figure out how to, how to get the offense back on the field as many times as possible. Luke. Kenny, you know, Philip Rivers gets the ball out really quick, and he, he certainly did it a lot tonight. Yeah. It, it, it looks like you all are playing a lot of off coverage and allowing a lot of free releases. Does that have anything to do with the fact that Rivers and, and other quarterbacks you all have faced are able to get it out so fast and so efficiently? Um, well, I think with Rivers, too, he knows it. he's such a smart quarterback. He knows exactly where to go with the ball and where the weaknesses are. But at the same time, you know, we got to do a better job on defenses of mixing the uh, mixing our alignments up. You know, showing press, going coming, going off. You know, being off, coming up the press. I mean, there's different things we can do, and just challenging guys. I mean, a lot of times, you, if you get up and you challenge guys, 
in their face that it, it discourages, you know, those quick, quick throws, but it, it also encourages the offense to take deeper shots. So, I mean, there's a little give and take there, but at the same time, like I said, Phillips always got the ball out quick. He's very, very smart. He knows where to go with the ball. He doesn't really give you a chance to, you know, sack him. I mean, they're the, least, they're the least sacked team in the league or one of them top three. So he does a great job. And I think all the good quarter, a lot of good quarterbacks do that. Is the amount of cushion you all give up a coaching choice or is that something you all decide on, on the field? I don't think our coaches coaches to give up passes, but um, I mean, um, the pre the pre snap cushion. Yeah, I mean, are you talking about like from like corner, the corner position? I guess like like, like whether you're lining up on the line of scrimmage or five ten. Yeah, yards I mean, off. it just depends. It just depends what the coverage is. You know, whether it's quarters, whether it's man, single high, cover two. Either way, like I said, regardless of what coverage we're running, we have to do a better job of discouraging those quick throws by changing our alignments, showing press coming off, being you know being off, getting down to press. Like our coaches told us told us that before this week, this week, hey, we need a bit better job of changing it up. So I don't know, I haven't watched the film, so I, haven't, I don't know what, I, what to say on that. Last two, Jim. <clears throat> Kenny, what, what's the frustration level as you leave here? And you kind of touched on it. What kind of, how tough of a spot did you put yourself in with the tough schedule coming up? And, and what's the mindset got to be moving forward? Um, I think we need to, you know, get away from ball these next three days. I mean, I, I usually can't, so I'll probably watch the film tonight kind of digest that but um come back ready to go on a good stretch ready to beat baltimore you know we're going to baltimore they're going to be after what happened last year they're going to be ready to roll i mean they're going to be ready to roll regardless because it's the next game but um but being tough i mean we, we we've been through that we've been through it last year we've been through it. Every, every every game in this league's tough i don't care if it's who knows who um so it's, it's not really about the next opponent really for us and in general, on defense, we need to worry about what we're doing and, and how we execute and not so much who the next opponent is. Last one, Jared. Yeah, Kenny, you talked about the communication issues you guys have had this year. Why did you guys not have those issues last year, especially when you went on your run? And why can a similar group of guys not be able to figure that out this year? Um, honestly, I can't really – I mean – I can't really put my thumb on it exactly while we're having those issues this year. Like you said, it's a lot of the same guys. Um, but like I said, we're going to work to get it fixed. Um, and last year's last year. Look, I'm focused on this year. I know right now we're in a better spot this year than we a hell of a lot better spot this year than we were last year. We just need to make sure we take advantage of that.